Hi, this is Rajendran from Market Calls and in today's video tutorial, we will be discussing about how to connect NinjaTrader with the Yahoo end of the day data feed. So prior to getting into it, we will discuss a little bit about NinjaTrader. NinjaTrader is a data analysis platform just like similar to ME Broker Metastock. And uh, very recently, NinjaTrader transformed themselves into a US broker as well. Um, just going to the platform, so you can go through all the features here. And it's a, a free platform for uh, uh, basic analysis purpose. And you can uh, download the uh, software and get the license from NinjaTrader and start using it. So once you Downloaded. I, in my machine, I had download already downloaded it. So I'm just opening it. Ninja Trader 7. The recent version is uh, Ninja Trader 7. And uh, Ninja Trader is planning very shortly to introduce Ninja Trader 8. So the first uh, setup is go to Tools and create an account connection for Yahoo. I'm clicking on uh, Account Connections. I'm adding it. So now to create a new connection, I have to give next. I'll name the Yahoo connection name is Yahoo EOD. And the provider, so these are a bunch of providers, data providers supported by NinjaTrader. So I'm just selecting Yahoo here and uh, clicking on next. Clicking on next and finish it off. Okay. And I'm closing it. So files, we have to connect to the Yahoo server. So first I am going to file, connect. So here you will find the list of uh, data providers. In our case, it is Yahoo EOD. I am connecting it. So once I connected it, you will see the uh, green uh, uh, status connected Yahoo at the left hand side bottom. Once we are done with that, the next step is to create symbols and the market. So I am just going to tools instrument manager on the left hand side i'm just clicking on new and creating the market and market name is nse okay i'm clicking on okay so once the market is created now i want to create the symbols uh, the right hand panel i'm just clicking on a, on a new button which adds a new instrument clicking on new so let's say we want to add tcs tcs and the stock uh, instrument type is stock the currency is Indian rupee and uh, the exchange name is NSE NSE yeah and uh, so we have to map uh, this uh, TCS with its TCS symbol Yahoo Finance symbol so the Yahoo Finance symbol for uh, TCS is TCS.NS so we can go to this miscellaneous tab at the end uh, there is a symbol map is there for each and every data providers so the Yahoo symbol for TCS is TCS.NS okay so I'm just clicking on OK now the exchange name is NSE so here there is a uh, left uh, arrow mark here which will add the symbols to the market which we created so I'm clicking here so you will be able to see that the symbols are getting added to the market under the NSE so likewise I'll create one more symbol uh, say ARCOM ARCOM I'm just clicking the stock. The currency is INR rupee and the market is NSE. NSE. And the miscellaneous tab, the symbol name is ARCOM. Okay, ARCOM dot NS. Okay. And the exchange is NSE. I'm adding it to the market, NSE. Okay. So now, in order to get the charts, go to file new charts from here select the market NSE from here select the R, uh, symbol as ARCOM I'm double click on it you will see that the ARCOM daily is added make sure that that uh, data time frame is daily uh, Yahoo currently doesn't support intraday data especially for ninja trader okay and now press ok so you'll be able to see the charts right and uh, you can scroll, scroll the charts back and forth and you can add the indicators right so with this uh, uh, the 
beta feed connectivity setup is done uh, ninja trader also supports google finance uh, data feed but uh, when it comes to nsc market i tried it out uh, I, i think some uh, bugs is there already with there with the ninja trader and uh, uh, google is not working out so if it is not working out for you just better try with them yahoo finance data feed once again thank you from market calls rajendra nidhi thank you